Hey, my name is Tony, and we've got uh, my son Clayton here. Okay. We're working on the AgriFab uh, lawn leaf vac. Uh, we've had this for a couple of years. It's been sitting for uh, about a year now, and uh, this tire needs a little bit of air. Usually it holds air, but it has. we've neglected this thing quite a bit. Uh, greasable rims on the wheels. And this model is a couple years old. I just pulled off the carburetor and cleaned that off, or cleaned that out, because we use, uh, or the gas sat in it for quite a while. Everything's easy to get into though, or get to. It's easy to work on. Briggs and Stratton. We work on many of those. Yeah. Pretty simple uh, setup. We just got this seat cover in too, and uh, that's a really good quality seat cover. We'll put the link to the description for the uh, seat cover and the AgriFab vac. It's the Agri AgriFab mowing vac. So there's also an attachment for a handheld uh, remote hose. So it can be just an independent unit. If you had like an ATV or something, you just wanted to uh, suck up stuff. We just we use it for a leaf vacuum only really here in Michigan. Yeah. Starting to get a few leaves are starting to fall. I mean, over here you can see this golden like tree of Anubis. Honey, uh, it's oak tree, but those leaves are falling. So we'll suck up some of these real quick. You can see how the uh, motors set up. Somebody was asking in an older video of mine how the motor was set up really there's nothing that attaches it up here other than this sleeve but it's it's a whole separate piece the trailer is separate from this and this is held on to the uh fan shroud or fan housing by a couple of bolts uh, but really the only thing that's holding on the motor is this uh, motor plate and then there's just four bolts holding on this bracket so this is the only thing holding this on. If you wanted to just pop off these four bolts right here, this whole bracket would just pop right off. So you can still use the trailer and put maybe put the motor and the whole fan assembly up on a shelf somewhere for the year. So like I said, somebody else was asking about that. A better view from both sides. So that's just like C-channel and mounted to this 90 degree bracket with four bolts and then it just pivots or you know you can go buffer right there to line, center it up and right here you can just tie a string to it so it's a dump trailer so we'll hook it up real quick and uh, go from there and why this is different than like a bagging system, you know, like a dual bagger for a John Deere is only like uh, you're about seven cubic foot or so. This is a 32 cubic foot uh, capacity, 26 bushel, uh, but it's a standalone unit. You don't have to have a mower to run this. Uh, you can just fire it up, and if you got a big pile of leaves, you could just suck it up separately. But we're gonna use the LX277. Yeah.
I find like regular blades work better than the uh, mulching blades for this. It's uh, not perfect. We still have some cleaning up to do, but it took about five minutes of work. I mean, it's not even, it's not really work. Just firing up a motor and dumping it out and raking it out, you know. One more frost and the rest of these leaves will come down. And we'll do another final sweep. If you have a couple acres, it makes the job a lot easier. Now, it's not going to be for a small inner city yard. But uh, we have a couple mature trees out here and probably, I don't know, eight or ten trees that produce quite a bit of leaves. We like to look at them in the fall and stuff, you know, and they provide shade in the summertime, but having a little machine like that's handy for cleanup. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. And uh, the link for the AgriFab is in the description. Uh, that awesome seat cover, that's in the description also. Uh, the seat, I mean, the seat was 20 years old, and that uh, seat cover made it look like brand new, and it's been on there for uh, about six months now, and it still looks brand new. So thanks for watching. No breaks.